This is something so critical to understand. If I say that I have pain in my low back and a doctor just takes an MRI of my low back, there could be a lot of things that show up there that are causing absolutely no pain. And so if there are six different findings and only two of them are actually causing pain, how can a physician know which of those it is without doing an actual physical exam? So when I do a physical exam for the low back as an example, I am going to place load, stress, and shear through different components of the spine, the facet joints, the SI joints, the iliolumbar ligament, the discs, the interspinous and supraspinous ligaments, the clunial nerves, all of those things. And from all that information that I get, and this is not just like two exams, there's a lot of exams that go into this. From that information, we can then have a really good idea of what structures are actually causing pain. Then we go look at the imaging. So let's say we suspect that there's a disc that is causing the pain based on our physical exam. And I go and I look at the discs and there we have an annular fissure. Great. That confirms our suspicion. But if you just took the MRI and there was the annular fissure plus facet hypertrophy and fluid in the facet joints, maybe a little thickening in the iliolumbar ligament, how do you know which one it is without the physical exam?